All right, so by a show of hands, how many people had coffee or anything this morning? Yeah, we all do. Everybody has caffeine in the mornings. It's how I get going. It's how Miss Bascom gets going. You can't just get up and roll out of bed. So I'm going to be talking about caffeine today and the effects and everything. Uh, caffeine is known as the life source of most college students, which I've learned to be true. I didn't like coffee or anything before I went to college, but now I do. Um, caffeine is a chemical that can drastically alter mood and alertness and improves concentration. It is a nervous, it like drastically alters your mood and when it does that, it is a nervous system stimulant and it affects not only the spinal cord but also the brain and other sources of energy within the body. Um, these are just a few products that contain the most caffeine, coffee, tea, sodas, energy drinks, chocolate, anything you like to get you going in the day. Um, studies have shown throughout time that increased caffeine consumption can cure the worst fatigue and help motivate those. 90% um, of the world's population that partake in, um, they partake in the drug on a daily basis. So that was in 2007. So I think they said that now it's up to like 95% of the population that partake in caffeine on a daily basis. So it's not real good, but... <coughs> So um, most citizens of the United States have nearly twice the recommended daily dose of caffeine in a single day, including children. So that's ages 8 to 12. So they're on it, caffeine as well. Um, too much of the drug has been shown to lead to dizziness, headaches, insomnia, and even worsens depression and anxiety. So these are the few effects of what too much caffeine can have on your body. Um, it is possible in a large dose to overdose on the drug. That's not very common, but it is possible. Um, it says, as um, a woman named Heller in 2010 reported, that the overdoses of caffeine have increased up to 30%, and that was in 2010, so I'm assuming that it has increased more now. Those who do consume large amounts of caffeine often develop a tolerance and create a dependency on it, which involves us having to drink it every morning to get up out of bed. Um, while safe in moderation, the consumption levels of most Americans are often dangerous and can be detrimental to health. Those who consume large amounts of caffeine frequently become addicted and dependent on the drug. Overdose has been reported, like I said, which is a rising concern. Monitoring and implementing a caffeine regulating diet is essential throughout essential throughout society. And recommended by the FDA, caffeine amounts on a daily basis is two, 200 to 300 milligrams, which we take a lot more than that. I know I do because I like to sleep 24-7, so I have a problem with that. So right here are some benefits of caffeine, which I didn't know there were any benefits of caffeine which is preventing Alzheimer's disease. It helps prevent asthma and helps prevent Parkinson's disease. This is like on a small doses, like not overtaking it. Um, I had no idea, like I said, caffeine could do anything, but apparently it can. And so as much as we all ca love caffeine, we should make sure as our consumption should be at a minimal dose. Thank you. Thank you, Dalton. <laughs> How do we go on time? 402. Hey.